Beijing's authorities have cancelled New Year celebrations this weekend as a precaution as fears about the spread of a deadly new virus grow. Singapore has just confirmed its first case of the virus. Two more Chinese cities, meanwhile, have joined Wuhan, where it was first identified in being put into lockdown. Huanggang and Erzhou, with a combined population of 8.5 million, are 70 kilometers away from Wuhan, where 11 million residents have been told to stay put. Well, the World Health Organization has said such a massive operation to restrict people moving and spreading the disease is unprecedented. They say it's not something they have advised. Official figures now say 25 people have died, 600 more have been infected, most of them in Wuhan. Stephen McDonnell reports. Wuhan is in virtual lockdown. In this city of 11 million people, you're not allowed to enter any public space without a mask. All public transport has been closed. The last flights in were already half empty. The final train services were also eerily quiet. Normally the Lunar New Year rush would mean you can't get a ticket. Here we're at the very epicentre of the virus. Maybe it's best not to travel. I'm confident that our government has the situation well in hand and that the situation will be quickly brought under control. Now, wherever you look, people are wearing masks, they're lining up to buy more masks, some people are cancelling their trips, and there is a lot of concern. And what's really made people pay attention to this health problem has been the shutdown of Wuhan. The Wuhan shutdown has made this emergency suddenly very real for people right across China, triggering memories of the 2002 SARS outbreak, which led to more than 600 deaths. Neighbouring cities are also stopping train services, as well as closing bars and restaurants. These drastic measures have been welcomed by the World Health Organization. The sequencing was done quickly, but more importantly, it was shared immediately. And that's why Korea, Japan, Thailand were able to diagnose the new coronavirus quickly. In all Chinese cities, medical teams are preparing for an influx of patients with the coronavirus which causes pneumonia. Staff at this Wuhan hospital isolation ward are worried. We are worried about our work here and get even more worried when we see the news every day. I always say to others it's OK as we are well protected. Actually, I was just saying that to keep them calm. We are actually afraid and worried. But as long as we are here, our own sense of duty will help us to do the job. We are still all young ourselves, so honestly we feel lost and afraid. Our family members are worried too. But as long as we wear the protective clothing, we'll be OK. Travellers had already left Wuhan before the transport shutdown was in place. With a five-day incubation period, many may have carried the virus to other cities and countries, not knowing they'd already been infected. And inside a metropolis quarantined from the outside world, medical teams are bracing for this emergency to get much worse before it gets any better. A short time ago, Stephen McDonnell also sent us this update from Beijing on how the crisis is having an impact across China. Right across China, this emergency, well, it's touching every community. Here in Beijing, the temple fairs, which are normally a central part of Chinese New Year celebrations and would be very crowded over the coming weekend, called off. From here to Hong Kong, New Year celebrations cancelled, street parades and the like. And that's because the authorities are worried about this going the way of SARS. Now, if you look at the death toll so far, as a percentage, it's not nearly as bad as SARS. But when you consider the raw numbers of people travelling, flights alone, now there are six times as many people flying out of China as there were at the time of the SARS outbreak in 2002. And that's why the World Health Organization is set to meet again to decide whether or not to declare this a global emergency. A doctor at the hospital in Wuhan, where this all began, has been speaking to the BBC and said the virus is now spreading at an alarming rate. The hospitals have been flooding with thousands of patients who wait hours to see a doctor. 
you can imagine their panic. Normally, Wuhan is a great place to live and we're proud of our work, but I'm scared because this is a new virus and the figures are worrying. Well, this story is obviously developing quite fast. There's a lot more about it on our website, including this article uh, answering reader questions, including exactly how the virus spreads and the current advice about traveling to China, which is being updated by many, by many countries uh, hour by hour. Now, that's all at bbc.com slash news.